Welcome to the study of self. This lesson will focus on proactive choices, whereby you will learn to make choices from a state of calm and not impulsive state. In this lesson, you need a book, pen, or a pencil. The learning objectives of the course are to understand what it means to be proactive, to empower you to make proactive choices. The outline of this course is as follows. 1. To understand what being proactive means. 2. Know the difference between proactive and reactive behavior. 3. To develop your power to choose. Let's start with lesson 1. What does being proactive mean? You make things happen. You are not simply sitting and waiting for mom, dad or someone else to always do things for you. Make a list of all the things you wait for someone else to do for you. For example, do you wait until your breakfast is made when you can make a simple cereal to eat so you are not hungry? Now make your list and decide what you will do with the list. Let's start with lesson 2. Know the difference between proactive and reactive behaviors. Let's do a little experiment. Place a bottle of water and a bottle of soft drink on a table. Make sure you are in a safe space so you do not stain a sofa or carpet. First, shake the bottle of water forcefully and open it. Write down your observations. Next, shake the bottle of soft drink forcefully and open it. Write down your observations. It's likely the soft drink will explode and splash all over. It will create an absolute mess and you have to spend time cleaning everywhere it may have spilled. How does this relate to our class and our personal reactions when life happens? Do you spin out of control like the soft drink or do you remain still like the water? Soft drink choices are made on the spare of the moment, usually pure reaction, and are often filled with anger, sadness, or guilt. They are messy and it usually takes a while to clean up and repair the harm. Water, however, is calm and in control despite the hardest shaking. Are you a soda kid or a water kid? Soda kid, reactive, angry, arguing, out of control with voice and bodies, blames others, not prepared, doesn't have a plan, yelling, whining, arguing, disrespect, my only way. What a kid, proactive, calm, working it out, showing self-control and integrity, taking responsibility and being honest, prepared, has a plan, seeking to understand normal and calm voice, thinking win-win. You may say it's too difficult, perhaps, but not impossible. If you want to be highly successful, you must make proactive choices. And we believe you can be more than proactive. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our good and our freedom. Victor E. Frank. Which brings us to lesson 3, the power of choice. Each day, you and I have about 100 chances to make a proactive or reactive choice. On any given day, you'll be faced with a choice to be proactive or reactive. The weather can be bad. Your brother or sister will get on your nerves. A friend will gossip about you. Someone will call you names and tease you. Your parents will take away your phone or even fail a test. What are you going to do about it? Will you exercise your power to be proactive? What will you do exactly to be proactive? Share your responses with us via ask at leadafric.org. Before we go, let's recap the key lessons you've learned in this course. You engage in two kinds of behaviors when something happens to you. 1. Spin out of control like a soft drink, reactive behavior. 2. Remain still like water, proactive behavior. Reactive choices are made on the spare of the moment, usually pure reaction, and are often filled with anger, sadness, or guilt. Reactive behavior is messy, and it usually takes a while to clean up and repair the harm. Proactive behavior is, however, calm and in control, despite the hardest shaking. Each day, you have about 100 chances to make a proactive or reactive choice. Focus on what is within your power to control and leave the rest to other people. It's time for your gem step. A gem step is an assignment that impacts your daily choices. 1. Listen to your inner voice this week and use it to make decisions. 2. This week, think about solutions to problems you face. Do 
Don't whine or complain. A proactive pledge. I, with your name, choose to pause, think, and choose before I act when I am upset. I, with your name again, choose to pause, think and choose before I act when I get low grades so I can bounce right back up. You have just completed the course on reactive choices. Do tell us, would you rather be proactive or reactive? Thank you for spending this time with us. Be sure to practice your gem step and share your experiences with us. Send your learnings to ask at leaderfreak.org. Until we meet again, remember, we are here to cheer you on to greatness.